mean, there's been a lot of times where we got to a site that was one way when we saw it the first time, and then we get back and there's been a lot of leaves blowing light, you know. We're not gonna cancel the day of burning just because we've suddenly got some adversity we don't expect. We just say, okay, what do we have that can solve this problem today? And we try it and hopefully it works. And if that doesn't work, we, you know, cut the fire off right where we have to and say, okay, that didn't work. What can we do different that will work so that we can get something done today? Because as a private contractor, I don't get paid for showing up. I get paid for getting black all the way from here to the truck. Right now we're pre-treating this corner a little bit, coming through with the leaf blower to make sure that we're pushing the water up into the grass. The grass will be wet at that point, is less likely to burn. We don't want the fire to come over this fire break. We're gonna pre-treat it with the leaf blower. Right now we have a pretty wide fire line on the side with a lot of water. Robert's coming up around the corner. We're gonna light around this corner. At which point, right now we're gonna go ahead and start our head fire. We have a little bit of black along the side here, so we're hoping that our head fire doesn't get too big. When it meets up with the other flames, it'll converge together right here at this corner. We're gonna keep an eye on it to make sure that it doesn't cross the fire break, and then we'll continue on with our line. Right now we're lighting a head fire off of this corner. A head fire is burning with the wind. So as you can see, the flames are actually moving the same direction of the wind. A head fire moves a lot faster than a backing fire will. If you're trying to burn a large tract all at once, a head fire is the quickest way to go about it. But depending on the type of vegetation that you have, a head fire is not always the best option. The type of fire that you light is gonna depend on your burn objectives. Long leaf in here, which can withstand fire. And we have a backing fire coming from the other direction. We'll probably light some flank fires going up through the middle. Just go to that corner where it's wet where we cross and stop. 